Hi, everybody. Hi. I am so privileged to be here with all of you. I have some of you um, I have just met today, um, and I, I am just so honored to be here with all of you. Um, I'm just very, very touched, and I hope that we can continue to uh, gather and to unify in these types of events to speak out against the dog meat trade. So I look forward to many, many, many more of these events. Um, so, what I would like to speak about is that um, we are here today in front of the Chinese consulate with those in D.C., Houston, Chicago, San Francisco, and L.A. Woo! A shout out to all of you guys. We stand here in solidarity also with the growing Chinese activists. We may not speak the same language as them, but love and compassion is a universal language that we all understand. So together, we want to send a message to the Chinese consulate, the Chinese government, and the Yulin government to stop the torture of these innocent dogs and cats Yulin Festival and end the dog meat trade. So I do want to talk about the Yulin Festival. It usually starts on 621. It's an annual event where vendors gather to celebrate the start of the summer solstice. It is not culture. I am Asian and eating dogs and cats is not culture. The Yulin Festival is a profit. It is a profit-driven event that started only in 2009, 2010 by locals, vendors, and businesses. In weeks leading up to the festival, dog traffickers round up cats and dogs from different regions Research have concluded 80% are stolen pets. They are crammed so tightly on top of one another in small wire cages with broken bones, sick, be sick, spreading diseases to others, parvo, distemper. They are also deprived of food and water for days when they are brought into Yulin where cats and up to 10,000 dogs are brutally tortured. They are bludgeoned, bounded and beaten, boiled alive, burned alive, skinned alive, paws dismembered alive. Their cries and their screams go deaf in the butcher's ears. They have been silenced for too long. Today, their cries will be heard because right now, their cries will come from me. I apologize for that but they need to be given a voice. When you turn away and you do not bear witness, their cries are silenced. So please be brave with me and bear witness with me. Do not be afraid. I do admit it is tough to hear and to watch the videos, but I just want to remind you that if that hurt you, if you can just imagine how much more it hurts them. I am asking for everyone to reach out to your representatives to co-sponsor House Resolution 30. Please go to house.gov and find your representative. Do 
not known. House Resolution 30 is a legislation that is a U.S. public opinion of international stance to condemn the Yulin Festival and urges China to end the dog meat trade. In addition, there is a bill for the United States that is also crucial, H.R. 1406, the Dog and Cat Meat Trade Prohibition Act of 2017. It is crucial for the United States to set the example. We are one of the strongest countries internationally. We need to be able to set the example and say, dog and cat meat slaughter and consumption is outlawed and it is a federal bill here in the United States. We need to have that passed. So I am asking for everyone to flood Speaker Paul Ryan and Kevin McCarthy on social media, flood them with phone calls and emails to request both House Resolution 30 and HR 1406 to be brought to the floor as soon as possible. If everyone can do that, everyone listening, everyone here, do you know how much power we have for them to receive over 100 tweets, over 100 phone calls a day? That is very powerful, and I urge everyone to please participate. Thank you for being here.